Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Old Republic video and this time around I'm here on the deep sea floor of Manon. Uh, the new Manon stronghold is out and I thought instead of doing it all the way at the top I'd use a little bit of a glitch that I showed about in a previous video where you can actually come down here on the sea floor. I thought I'd make it a little bit more story realistic as well than this little, little submersible. If you're wondering what mount this is, this is the Vectron Enforcer, actually one of my favorite mounts in the game. And, um, and yeah, as you'll see later on in this video, I'm actually going to be wearing the Underwater Adventurer's Armor Set just for kicks. But anyways, the point of this video is it's going to be a new pack opening because we have the new Armed Resistance Cartel Packs that hit the cartel market. And what I'm going to do this time around is since my pack opening videos have now uh, recently become a lot longer than anticipated, I'm just going to do the pack opening right at the start, not talk too much about the items that come out of it and stuff, and then talk more about the pack itself afterwards. So anyone that came here just to really see the pack opening, they'll get a good uh, sense of what that is. I also do have the Manon Kotar theme playing in the background, just because. Uh, also, let me know if you guys like that. If you guys like hearing um, some background music, usually I'll have something Star Wars themed. If not, also let me know if it's maybe too distracting or you can't hear uh, the voice uh, or what's happening on screen because I know some people enjoy having some background music and some people don't like it so I'm definitely gauging your guys' opinions on that to see whether I should continue doing that. I personally enjoy doing it. Um, anyways, this time around we'll be opening two hyper crates just because it is, they are keeping the new um, system so that means that basically you get three items, you don't really get grand chance cubes anymore, rather you get a one guaranteed new item which is actually a lot of items coming out of this pack. And the very first thing I want to say is I do take it back with the Expert Outlaws armor set. I did say in my uh, pack preview video this was not particularly nice, but the upper body armor is actually really, really nice. So I take that back, definitely. You have to, you have to see it in-game to really get a good sense of, of how awesome that's going to be. I still do maintain that the supplementary body armor, which is the helmet's a little bit weird, but the upper body armor is definitely nice. Anyways, as I was saying, you get one new pack item and then two other items. Now those two items could be a Grand Chance Cube or they're just going to be an open grand chance cube for you, so just some item outside uh, out of, from the entire cartel market. And here I am in the Underwater Adventurer's armor set. Um, very, very cheap armor set. You can get it for like 200,000 credits off the GTN, but um, it's very good for this role-playing type thing. Anyways, getting right into the pack opening, we have a gold item right off the bat, the Dynamic Paladin's lower body armor. The Dynamic Paladin, I feel, had a lot of potential to be a really nice armor set, but um, I actually don't like the style of the upper body armor. I don't like those big shoulder rolls. Alright, this time around, see, we just got that uh, blaster rifle. Ah, uh, here's something nice. We got the Revenite Campfire and the Lurgo Enforcer. Now, this is a new crystal from the Cartel Pack. A very, very nice crystal. And actually, I don't seem to have this decoration, so that's cool. The very nice crystal, actually. So, GG to Bioware for this time around. They didn't just give us a crappy crystal. I do probably see that actually selling for quite a lot on the GTN. But I'll preview it at the end of this video. We'll see. It looks actually really nice. Uh, the Ardent Defender and the Sith Hermit's armor set. I really like getting armor sets, and the Ardent Defender, I like the lightsaber, not, not necessarily the dual saber. Ah, more crap. See, that's the issue. I really didn't like the new pack opening style, and I'm not the only one. I saw some posts on Reddit as well. We have the Vectron Furrow. Okay, so we got the new gold mount, but um, I'm not a fan of this mount at all. I definitely see this being a very, very unpopular mount. I, I just don't see the appeal of it. It, does, it looks really ugly, actually. And recently, um, the items uh, that have been dropping super low on the GTN. I mean, you can get the Thuvasaur, which is the gold mount from the last pack for like a million credits. Okay, looking here, we have this, uh, I'm not sure what decoration that is. We just, I think the Iocath battery pack is the new decoration. I'm not sure what that other one was. We'll look at that at the end. More decorations. I guess that's one good thing you can say from these packs because the decorations, usually if you're a decoration collector, uh, you can find some really old ones. Oh, we have our third gold armor piece here. We got the expert. Uh, okay, so uh, the um, I'm not a big fan of the supplementary body armor, which contains the headgear. I much prefer the upper body armor for that one. Yeah, if you're a decoration collector, you can probably find some really old decorations you don't have and collect them. And if you're not, you can probably sell those for actually quite a lot on the GTN. Now apparently there are some new dyes coming out of this cartel pack as well. I'm not a fan of dyes, unless it's something to do with white and black, which are some of the most popular stuff in the game. Uh, I'm not a big fan of them. Okay, we have the med bay bed, so that's one of the new decorations, which we'll all preview at the end of this video. That Socorro blaster series was a big fail on Bioware's part. Very, very ugly blasters. Um, they have never sold well on GTN. I'm talking like 2,000, 3,000 credits bad. Here we've got our first Grand Chance Cube, which they basically discontinued Grand Chance Cube, as I mentioned in my last video. 
you do not get them anymore. Uh, the Naval Officer Dive Module, this is one of the new ones and probably the most decent one because I kind of like that gray color, but the other die is pretty horrendous. Ooh, the Sith, uh, call, oh, is that the Sith or oh, whatever? Um, this Ardent Defender's Assault Cannon, that's a really nice one as well. There we go, that's a good drop. The Elegant Lounge Warrior's Armor Set, very, very nice. That's going to sell for a lot. Here's an interesting one, this uh, Sparring Droid. This was actually recently on the Cartel Market, and you'll never guess what they wanted for it. They put it up for 450 Cartel Coins. It really goes to show how little the Bioware devs, or whoever decides these prices, uh, it, shows, it goes to show how little they know about their in-game economy. I mean, that toy you can buy for like 80k on the GTN, which is hilarious that they put it up for 450 cartel coins. Here we have the Ardent Defender's lightsaber. The hilt isn't quite as big as I would have liked, but it's definitely a really, really nice hilt. Now, I, yeah, I, it's just a really nice um, weapon in general. The other weapons kind of suck. I don't like the blaster rifles or whatever. Another gold item, and this time we have the lower body armor for this one. So this, this is... Uh, I'm shaping out to get the entire set, but I do really want the upper body armor for that one. That one's really nice. Here we go, another really good drop, the Aten Rans armor set. None of this stuff is from the actual cartel pack. The actual cartel pack has very little quality items, uh, but I'm getting pretty lucky with the other items that you can get from the, you know, the entire cartel market. The Aten Rans a pretty good armor set. Yeah, more of just the same stuff. That's the downside. I mean, when you're only getting one new pack item, you tend to get a lot of repeats. The Waltz mode. Yeah, none of this stuff sells very well. You could just get a lot of this stuff off the GTN for very affordable prices. All right, there's no real point in opening the second one. I'm just going to do it anyway to see RNG. Um, but there's really nothing else like this pack I mean if you want to go for the platinum items you, I mean those platinum items are gonna sell insane prices on the GTN I mean I'm, I'm talking insane like watch those things go up like hundred million credits you see this, this is nice the casual connoisseurs armor set a very underrated armor set but that upper body armor will sell for a lot and it also looks really nice but um, like the new stuff how many times am I gonna get this crystal I don't know it's a nice crystal and all but you only need one or, or one of each right you don't need to keep getting like 10, 20 of them. That's the downside. I mean, and, and as I was mentioning, the quality of items from this pack is very, very lax. Um, like you have, you know, I guess the upper body armor of the Expert Outlaw. That's a nice one. The dynamic Paladin just in general could have been nice, but I don't think it's very nice. Hey, look at this. The Ancient Infernals armor set. I can totally see that the upper body armor is a reskin, but I have a feeling that that's something that might sell quite well. I don't know. I like the name Ancient Infernal. There we go, the upper body armor. So that's the one you're going to want from this armor set. Uh, that's probably the one that's going to sell the most. I definitely would think about using it. It's very nice for like operatives, as someone had mentioned in the comment section. They're totally right. That would go really well with like operatives and scoundrels and stuff. But yeah, the same decorations over and over again. And uh, that I was looking at the decorations on uh, online. They don't look very nice. Now that's a really good one, the deep water acclay. This is the first silver acclay. And that is something that's not only going to sell really well in GTN, but it's going to be a great item to buy low and sell high with. Uh, the Corrupted Nexu, I believe, is already at like 2 million. That was one of the uh, reskinned gold mounts, you could say. And look at that, the Show Off Casual. That's like the Han Solo upper body armor, just with the sleeves cut off. So getting pretty lucky with those drops. Anyways, as I was saying, I need to stop getting distracted. Uh, the Deep Water Ackley is a great item to buy low, sell high with. The Corrupted Nexu has gone up to like 2 million on Harbinger's GTN. And just in general, like those are just great items to buy up because I guarantee those will be big, big sellers in the future. So um, that's definitely one item you're going to want to keep uh, your, ha your eye on. Once again, I'm not sure what this decoration looks like, but it does seem like I have one. So I'll look at that at the end. Ah, the toys. See, the Mine Trap is a really nice toy. I remember back in the day those sold for millions. Now they can't seem to sell for more than 500k. Like, any toy, like even, here we go, another one, the Kai Zaiken toy. You know, you would think that these would be pretty rare, which they are. You can't find many on the GTN, but still, you'll only net like 500k. Like, that's just what the prices drop to on the GTN. No one really pays more for those. And these other toys, like the Chance Cube regen you see here, those are like 50k on the GTN. Really good news for new players, because these toys tend to be really cool. You can get them for, so, you know, really, really cheap. Here we have the Frontline Veterans Armor Set. Very nice, very nice. As long as I get an armor set that's not like the Rotworm or the Hotball uniform, I'm really happy. 
I believe that's our second Grand Chance Cube, so, yeah. Ah, here we go, another gold item, come on. Ah, the Control Console Tithe. I was really curious as to what that decoration is. I'm really happy I got it. I want to check it out and see just exactly what it is. Uh, what does it do? Or what, what's so special about it? I mean, yeah. We'll have to check that out at the end. And the Ardent Defenders Blaster. I quite like this one. There we go, another Ardent Defenders Blaster. There's a Statue of the Throne Sith. And the Emote Flourish, it's one of the best emotes actually. Uh, it doesn't sell for the most, but it's definitely one of the best. We've got another Expert Outlaw, so we just keep getting this one over again. I'm quite happy, I don't think the Dynamic Paladin is going to do very well. Uh, the Expert Outlaw probably has a higher chance of doing pretty well with GTN. Wow, look how many armor sets I'm getting. The Orbalisk uh, was really nice as well. But yet, none of it is the real good stuff. <laughs> I really hope, I really wish Bioware just, would just improve the RNG. Rather than getting the same bronze stuff over and over again, uh, it would be so much better if they just improved it that like, you would actually get gold stuff from the cartel markets. You actually had a chance of getting some really nice gold armor set or something along those lines. But there we go, that's that pack opening. Nothing too exciting. I definitely wouldn't recommend buying this one. I forgot to mention this at the start, but the price is actually quite decent. Um, it's back down to 4600 If you would remember for last, the Dread Warlord Cartel pack, it's the same pack. It's got the same RNG or whatever, like the same thing. You get three items, etc. But you, um, but uh, they put it up for 5800 They didn't give you the sale. So we have a pretty good sale going on right now. I still wouldn't recommend buying it though. It's not extremely nice. Y'all just going to start uh, claiming stuff from the item stash now. I'll skip over to when I've claimed stuff and we'll look at the decorations. But just in general, it's not worth it. The RNG is not better. I don't like the new cartel pack system. And the quality of items in the pack are not the greatest. Uh, if you have the money or the cartel coins saved up, I would definitely recommend just selling these hyper crates on the GTN. Because if you have been on the GTN and looked, these things sell for insane prices. You cannot find a hyper crate below 40 million anymore. Most of them sell for 45 to 50 million credits and believe me, they sell. It's absolutely insane uh, what they've gone up to. And I don't know, you could, you could talk about inflation or whatever, but there's no major thing that's happening in the game that would allow for people to have accumulated a lot more credits. Like I don't think it's inflation. I just think people aren't selling it for less and I don't know maybe the rich people like myself or other people are just buying it up I definitely haven't bought up any hyper crates at 40 to 50 million that's insane that's way too expensive and you're almost guaranteed to lose your uh, lose your investment but anyways okay I'll claim some of these so I'm not distracted and we'll skip back to when um, everything's claimed All right, everyone, so we are back. I don't actually have many decorations here. I was quite surprised. A lot of the decorations that I, um, that I got that were nice were actually ones from old cartel market stuff. Uh, but here, the Tithe console, definitely going to want to check out what that is. Some of the other stuff didn't look too nice just from the preview. But once again, we'll look here at the Man new Manon Stronghold. So right away, let's check out this Tithe control console. I'm really excited to see exactly what this does. Alright, so it's got the really nice Tithe logo there. Remember, Tithe is the god of rage. Um, using this, it doesn't seem to do anything. I was quite excited. I thought maybe, I don't know, let you control Tithe. <laughs> a little bit of a long shot, but um, yeah, I can't really hear anything. Maybe let me turn off the background noise and let's see if it's actually uh, saying something. There we go. Okay, let's see now. Ah, yes, there we go. So yeah, basically what it does is when you use it, you get tight saying some sort of line, and it does seem to me the line changes. So it's not just the same thing. I know he has a set like four to five lines that uh, will be on a random queue, and he'll say one of them. It's quite cool, actually. This is a really nice decoration. Definitely worth the gold uh, rarity sign there. Really nice. And I believe there's one for the other gods as well, the uh, two sisters. Uh, I believe you can get that out of this pack as well. And then maybe for every other one, when they release the new boss and they release a new cartel pack, they're going to keep giving us that. So that's really cool. All right, let's turn back on the nice background music and let's get um, to it with the other few decorations here. All right, so looking at this one, this one is uh, going to fit on a um, small little personnel. Or we'll try it here at the top because it's a light, so I don't think it's going to go on the ground. Uh, the light bar green. There we go. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I mean I guess some people might just want to use this on the walls of their strongholds but come on uh, an entire stronghold decoration for that whatever 
There we go. Yeah, Bioware definitely slacked on the decorations on this one. I believe the decorations from the Dread Warlord Cartel Pack were super nice. A lot of centerpieces, but still, at least there was a lot of detail and, and you know, visual effects and stuff. This time around, just uh, the Tithe one was a nice surprise, but some of this other stuff doesn't look too good. Anyways, as I was saying earlier, um, yeah, the price that you can sell these cartel packs for on the GTN is insane. So if you have one, I mean, you definitely want to think about maybe just selling that on the GTN and, um, and maybe buying what you want off the GTN. I mean, sorry, yeah, selling the cartel packs on the GTN and buying what you want in terms of items. Uh, you could probably pull out the really nice Vine Cat Companion, uh, get a few of the armor sets unlocked, and even maybe... Um, uh, you know, all, uh, some of the gold decorations, all for under 50 million credits. So basically get yourself a huge part of the uh, pack unlocked and um, I just have sold the cartel packs rather than open them and just hoping for the best. Those medbay beds, I'm, I missed that part, but yeah, those were nice. Uh, but, you know, nothing too fancy there. This one's going to fit just on the personnel um, little green bar. I call it the personnel bar. It's the Heavy Sky Trooper Alliance. Uh, once again, I talked about this in the Deepwater Essential Bundles preview. I like kind of personnels that actually do stuff. Just having these things stand here, I guess maybe you could have a room where you just have like these older Sky Troopers in a line or something. But once again, you'd have to collect quite a lot of them. And uh, just, I don't know, it's got a really nice chrome look, but nothing too special once again. Alright, this one's going to fit on the wall. Wall medium. Uh, do we even have that out here? These look like a wall large. Well, hopefully, if not, then I don't know. I don't have the energy to go run in, so we'll just preview that normally rather than worrying about uh, putting it down on the stronghold. Let's see if we can find it here. Yeah, we, we can't find it. Okay, so leave that. Um, we'll do that. We'll deal with that later. We'll look at the other ones because I believe we do have the Seth Hex Light uh, in our inventory as well. Yeah, I'm not sure if I got every single decoration. As you would have noticed, I didn't actually get the emote, which is quite funny. Two hyper crates didn't pull out the emote. So, so much for Bioware's whole, we're going to give you a diversity of items. So, you know, when you open a cartel pack, you have a higher chance of unlocking more stuff. Uh, that obviously didn't happen this time around. I actually didn't get quite a few items, but definitely one of them was not the new emote. So that's unfortunate. I kind of wanted to show you guys what that would look like. But here we go. This is the set Hex Light. I'm just saying, if you're making a light, you probably want it to have some stuff flashing out. Like, that's just kind of three big squares or cubes and a diagonal a line. So, that was kind of weird. And finally, we have the Iocath battery pack. So, let's see what this one is. This one's also all on the wall. Let's just preview it here and see if uh, what it looks like. Ah, the preview looks bugged. Oh, right, there we go. This should work now. Ah, there we go. That looks cool. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, if you're going to have something put on the wall, let I me mean, make it flashy. So that's definitely really nice. Uh, a lot of things you could do with that. Yeah, that's definitely my preference. Uh, if you notice um, uh, in my videos, I definitely like a lot of the flashy stuff. So stuff that has electricity shooting out and all this stuff. I, mean, I have the volatile weapon tuning on the saber here. The unstable effect wasn't enough for me. I needed the volatile effect as well. Uh, that definitely looks really cool. Check that out. That's nice. Okay, good one. That's good on Bioware for at least making one good decoration. So that and a Tithe decoration, the de Tithe console are, is really nice. All the other decorations are meh. Uh, the Expert Outlaws, upper body armor is good. The Dynamic Paladin is meh. The mounts are meh, definitely. I mean, the, the Acclay is really nice, but once again, you're going to find pretty affordable prices on the GTN for that because it's a, it's a really common drop. And then the other stuff is just, come on, look, look how many crystals I got. Uh, got a lot of nice armor sets from the, um, look how nice that crystal is, that's really nice. Yeah, they, they, they did a good job on that one. Got a lot of armor sets like the Ancient Infernal and other stuff, but still, um, you know, I'd rather have a Grand Chance Cube, honestly, and just sell the Grand Chance Cube. Because think about it, you could get a ton of Grand Chance Cubes, sell them, and just buy whatever you want on the GTN. Why go for RNG when you could just have Grand Chance Cubes? It was awesome. It was a good uh, g uh, give and take. You would sell the Grand Chance Cubes, and people would buy the Grand Chance Cubes. Obviously, they're buying it. They, they kind of want to buy it. They want to gamble with it. So they got to have their gambling with it, and the people who didn't want to gamble with it got to sell it. But Bioware obviously decided that that wasn't good enough for them. They, for some reason, wanted to try to improve cartel packs, and I think they've damaged it a lot. So I'm definitely going to label this as not worth it. If you do have the exp uh, money once again, make sure just to sell that pack on the GTN, get your credits, and then spend those mm -hmm. credits wisely. Um, but yeah, that's my take. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the pack opening video. And uh, once again, let me know just as kind of a secondary thing if you like the background music or not. If you liked it, I'll definitely keep it. But if majority of people are like it's disruptive, then I'll definitely go away with it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.